please give it up to Paula Stevens. All right, well, um, hello, everybody, and um, thank you for returning after the intermission. I appreciate that. Okay, so by a show of hands, how many of you are familiar with the five stages of grief? Awesome, awesome. Well, I'm here this evening to tell you that the five stages of grief are a load of shit. That's right. And um, let me just do a quick review. So the five stages, in case you didn't raise your hand, denial, bargaining, anger, depression, at the end, you're supposed to end up in acceptance. Keep in mind that if you end up in acceptance, acceptance is another word for resignation. So again, by a show of hands, how many of you would like to live a life of resignation? Woohoo! Woo okay, that's why I'm here. We're not having any resignation. So we would love for grief to be this very symphonic, beautiful thing that travels from one stage to the next. And we get to the point where we can just package it up and put it up on a nice shelf. And that's not how grief works. Um, grief is a little bit more like ordering food from a fast food restaurant where you get out of bed one day and you decide you want to have the number one with a side of denial. But then you roll out of bed the next day and you're like, ooh, supersize that acceptance and give me a little bit of anger and maybe some depression while you're at it. So and it really doesn't matter because whatever you order from the grief menu makes you feel like shit. So what entitles me to stand up here this evening and be a grief basher? In 2010, while home on leave from the Army, my oldest son passed away. So this is when I learned that the five stages of grief have nothing to do with living a happy life after loss. The other thing I learned shortly after Brandon died is that grieving parents, we don't get a title like divorcee or orphan or widow, so we have to create our own. So I took it upon myself to give myself the title of binge drinker, because that seemed to be an appropriate title. So lucky for me, about that time, my neighborhood was having a recycling contest, and I figured this is awesome, this is perfect. I can console my grief while at the same time being a great citizen of the planet, and I can recycle my beer bottles and my wine. Um, a few weeks later, I was standing in my kitchen, fully dressed in my pajamas, beer in hand, not realizing whether it was too early for beer or too late for the pajamas. I wasn't clear on that. But I realized this grief thing wasn't working out so good for me. So um, I thought about it. And it wasn't so much that I couldn't accept that my son wasn't coming back. It was all about that resignation. I could not accept a life of resignation. So here's the kicker, guys. Each and every one of you are going to get to go through the five stages of grief you are going to lose someone or something that you love and that is close to your heart. So what are you going to do, right? The five stages of grief are a load of crap. So what I decided to do was recreate those five stages and create good grief. Yeah. So I went back to the drawing board and I exchanged denial for gratitude. I am eternally grateful for everything that I have learned about life because of Brandon's death, that that allowed me to have a lot of gratitude and I have a huge life left to live. And then I exchanged that bargaining for letting go. Letting go of thinking that the world owed me anything or that anyone else was responsible for my happiness other than myself. And then I took this big, yeah, that's good stuff, right? Right? And it applies to you guys too. So then I took this big bucket of anger that I had at the world, because it owed me something, and I exchanged it for love. Because what I realized is that with love and compassion, we can make change and move mountains that will never get touched if you're living over here with anger. So I let it go. So then I moved on, and I decided that maybe instead of depression, humor is a better way to look at the world. The world has a ridiculously weird sense of humor. And when you can plug into those bright spots in life, life becomes immeasurably easier. So then this piece of acceptance, right? Resignation and acceptance. So I decided through, accept, or rather than having acceptance, I would build expansion joints. So I would build expansion joints from my broken heart so that I would live a life that is bigger and better than anything I would have had had it not gotten broke. So when it is your turn 
I hope that you realize that you have a choice, and I hope you choose good grief. Thank you.